Hello, today is August 1st, 2023. My name is Mike Reed. I am an appliance technician for the commercial side of the business, taking care of restaurants, grocery stores, hotels, universities, uh, and even churches. So I ran across two calls in the same day on Charleston. Now, the calls that I received are not regular Charlestons. These are centerline. Here we go. These are centerline by Charleston. They are the entry level line that Charleston is putting out there to compete with a lot of the imports. Because normally a Charleston unit is going to be 5,000, 8,000, 10,000 on up. So Charleston is introducing some of these uh, lower entry level units. And everybody else is doing the same thing. True is doing it. Hoshizaki's doing it to compete with uh, with some of the new entries in the market. So to bring it back to what I'm talking about here, um, the reason why I brought this up is due to the fact that these units are all within their first year. These are all relatively new units. So one is one call I received this morning was a longtime customer. I was kind of caught off guard because when I was at the location last, I was working on a range, and I there I noticed, I kept hearing sounds, and I kept noticing that there was something wrong with the unit behind me, and it was one of these center lines. And I know that this was a brand new unit because I took the old unit, and I have it, uh, I fixed it, and I have it in my possession. So I tried to help the customer out, say, hey, um, well let, let me let me help you out. I'll call I'll call Charleston. Let's get the ball rolling. Uh and get them out here so we can, you know, so they can get out there and, and take a look before it really gets bad. Well called once, didn't get through, line hung up, called again. Again, remind you, I was there actually on something else. So I called eight times, still not did, I still was not successful with getting through. And then finally, uh, I want to say maybe I did, or I left a message. I gave the uh, gave the the owner's brother. You know, the information to say, hey, look, you need to register this unit. Give them a call and then they can send someone out. But this was actually two months ago. The owner's brother didn't get it taken care of. So which led to the phone call I received today. That, OK, their only freezer is not freezing and they have all this product in there that and they're freaking out about it. I explained to them this is a, this is a uh, three year warranty, all inclusive, five year on the compressor. There's nothing I can do. The only ones that can help you is is Hobart. So once again, they tried to call, couldn't get through, and I just suggested for them to just call the local Hobart office directly and and see if one of them would come out and, and take care of it. So I go out, I do my jobs for the day, and. Um, Lo and behold, I'm working on a on an ice machine, and directly behind me was this other center line. And if you could look in the picture, you'll see that the other the other unit next to it is a is a real Charleston. And they had so they had a total of three Charlestons. One, I guess, had an issue and they replaced it with one of the center lines. So this center line didn't even make it to school started. Um, school hasn't started yet. This picture's from today. And that unit is, is not functioning. 
So what I decided to do was I said, well, you know, let me look and see what's going on online. And I looked up and uh, so this was like from Websteron or one of those sites. And I looked and I saw a review and here it is a one star review from um, actually, you know, not that long ago, like a month ago. Um, three month old unit compressor has failed. You're waiting three weeks, customers waiting three weeks. And no one is no one has still shown up. So was that me to think? I said, well, you know, let me call, let me call uh Parstown. So I called Parstown, called Parstown today, gave them the model serial number of the unit, and then um asked them to give me a call back, you know, or email me. They haven't emailed me back with the part. So I decided to look up and see if they had anything. And I look up just general, just anything with center line, evaporator center line, evaporator coil, core trolls and center line, zero in stock. And now I don't have access to, to see what Hobart has because they all have their own parts houses. They have their own, they have their own stores, and they have their own their own inventory. But usually parts down old. They will add a number of parts in their system, knowing that they will just go ahead and grab them from parts. I mean, knowing that they'll just grab them from Hobart or have, them, have Hobart ship them out directly. But this says that they don't have anything. And like the other review says that they didn't even have a compressor. So I just wanted to reach out and see what you guys are experiencing out there in the field, because I've already had, you know, a couple that I've come into contact with. Now I've had dealings with the dishwashers. I haven't had any problems with the dishwashers, the line dishwashers, but the refrigerators, this seems to be a thing. And, and before I end this stream for in this video, this is a 448A refrigerator, 448A unit and so it is not r600 it is not r290 it's a 448a it's not so that means it's a step up from the 404 so let me know uh what your what your experience is with this out in the field i'm kind of curious to see and before i go i just want to say thank you again to all the subscribers all the contributors to the channel and uh, be on the lookout for another one because I have I have uh, news on Carpajani. Carpajani has training coming up in about a month, and um, we're gonna do a gonna do a little video on signing up with one of these convenience store maintenance companies, and we'll plot it out from start to finish until we get the first call and see how that goes. So you'll have a good idea what kind of experience you would have with them. Thank you.